Hello everybody, it's Reaper again. Um, last time I did a talk through, it was Iron Storm. Again, one of my guilty pleasures, I guess. Um, not the perfect game, but still really fun. This time I am playing what was considered to be its spiritual sequel, called Bet on Soldier. Um, this is a much lengthier game. It's going to be spread out among a couple of different videos. I'm not going to do it all at one time, of course, because, again, it's lengthy. And it can get kind of difficult, not quite on the level of Iron Storm, but it can still be pretty difficult. So I'm going to take it level by level. Um, not sure how I'm going to separate the video, so I'm not going to kind of sort it like I did last time. Because I don't know what I'm doing here. So I'll start seeing the years, story. Money has been the root of all evil. Now it's the root of all survival. You. Our positions of our positions of an attack. Let's go. 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 See the audio is playing here right now. Minutes ago, he's not far. I know. each other in the name of entertainment. Recruit that man. Yes, okay, sir. that's not bad. I don't know why the video and audio weren't seeming to be lagging up or syncing up, I should say. So, I'm gonna make sure all my settings are correct. Okay, so uh, I tried switching it to 1920 by whatever it is, 1060 or 1080. My brain isn't working right now. You know what I mean. And the game crashed. So, I guess I'm not going to be doing that, so. We're just gonna make sure everything else is uh okay. I feel like Oh right, okay, yeah. I forgot there's no like iron sights or anything, I forgot about that. Gaz grenade. Ha! <laughs> I never noticed that till now. I did play this game online too for a little while and it was actually really fun. I'd say I was pretty good at it because you get to vote on your teammates on who gets to actually do one-on-ones. That all makes sense uh, later on. But, alright, I guess we're ready. One of the things you'll know is that, wait, did I still have, oh wow, I do still have all these games here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to erase all these. Give a clean slate. Come on. 
Come on, big boy. Yeah, that's it. We're going to do recruit, just because later on in the game, it get, does get really challenging, and I've never actually finished this game, so you guys are actually going to watch me hopefully finish it for the first time. Has our amnesiac recovered his memory yet? It's taking too much time. We have to switch to plan B now. The world is a shitty place, no doubt about it. It's as shitty as this war that's been going around for the last 80 years. I was born in it, and it's the only thing I'll ever know. My name's Nolan Daneworth. I'm a soldier. I work for the WRF, for the WRF, for the WRF. Two years, two years ago, I got amnesia, probably after a bombing. I probably took a bunch of bombs right in my face. That seems most likely anyway. Today, I'm fighting. I'm fighting because it's the only way to make a decent living. I guess I could work at a factory, but what for? The right to survive? Let's face it, the only ones who really get along around here are those who fight on Bet on Soldier. The BOS champions, we call them. In this TV show, soldiers fight against each other to the death. Meanwhile, all over the world, people place their bets on the outcome of those fights. These soldiers will never get to be old timers, I guess. But man, they're genuine stars and frightening warriors. Tell you the truth, I never really gave a rat's ass about all this. I just did my job. On the front, I met Julianne, a nurse. We got married. We made a little bit of something for ourselves. A little farm, a simple life. We even got a dog at some point. One night, some men came to our house. They shot my wife and torched the house. I don't know how, but I managed to escape. But I didn't have time to get the body of my wife out. She was burnt, along with everything that ever meant anything to me. I saw the men who killed her, and I knew who they were. I'd already seen them on TV. These men, these men were BOS champions. very quickly. Too quickly, perhaps. And I decided to call Peter Ross back. Peter had a school. A school of champions. He trained young soldiers to become champions. He was the best teacher around. We arranged to meet in a little bar south of Camp St. Louis. When he got there, I was already five or six pints smarter than him. He didn't order anything, he was in a hurry. The only lead I had was BOS, and especially the two brothers, the Boryanka brothers. I would never forget those faces. To kill them, I needed to approach BOS. I had to become a champion. You want to become a champion? But look at you, you're barely standing. I didn't recall my past too well. Actually, all I had was an S tattooed on my neck. Peter seemed very surprised when he saw it. That, uh, S? You belong to the Syndicate? Nobody really knew what the Syndicate was. A so-called secret organization which controlled the war. It was bullshit for sure. For sure. But Peter certainly knew a little more, and he also knew I could bring him back a lot of money. I became a promising seed and I was accepted in the school. Take care of yourself first, Nolan. You know where to find me. Peter's camp was tough. The guy was an asshole, but a hell of a good teacher. After four months of intense training, I was ready to face League Three, the Amateurs League. All right, so after all that, that's probably some of the best voice acting you'll hear in this game, by the way. That's nice of asked. You can go away now. Um, so basically, sometimes you'll have different missions. Right, like right now, you only have one. 
Let me guess that thing isn't gonna go away. I'm gonna have to manually do it, aren't I? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Didn't think it was gonna go away. So basically, you get a little briefing. Um, I'm not gonna bother with that kind of crap. So BOS, on this screen, you actually choose who you want to go up against. Um, honestly, a lot of times, I'll pick anybody that doesn't use a freaking healing shield, if they have it. Um, like, it'll tell you what they have. Like, this one has auto repair armor. Not too big of a deal. Because if you completely destroy the armor, it's not going to heal anyway. It's that hallucin hallucinogen grenade that worries me on that one. And then this guy, he's got the magnetic shield, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Who do I want to go up against? I don't think we're just going to go up against this bastard. Which is weird, because he's actually the most profitable. So we're going to choose him. For weapons, obviously, I'm going to pick the Canadian armor, because it's the only thing I have. The shield, I don't really bother with too much. Get the blade for free. The sniper rifle doesn't even have a scope yet, so don't use it. The commando gun, it, it fucking blows. Never use that. So we're going to use the assault rifle, which you're going to find is actually practically identical to the one from a... I'm just going to use a standard pistol. Of course, the only thing you really have access to are the machine gun and the, the gas launcher. The war shotgun is usually what I use. I'm not going to bring a heavy weapon with me. Just because I'm not going to bother with the money. Instead, I'm, I am going to take grenades. Those are fire grenades. I don't really bother with those either. So, um, Mercenaries, a lot of times what you want to do is have an engineer with you. Which, there are... Or is the protector? No. You can eventually get some engineers that can heal your armor. In this one, you can't. But you'll see that later on. So, I'm just going to go ahead with... This pistol and this... Eh, you know what? I better bring something, shouldn't I? Nah, I'm not. I'll be fine. That's my first mission. Now you're going to hear some of the worst voice acting ever. Funny little BOS thing where it's actually supposed to be a BO5. Ah. In joke. Morning, Recruit Nolan. We were waiting for you. You're not late. That's a good point. I can read in our files that you've been trained by Peter Rossbag. Well, this is a hot reference. So, General Solberg is waiting to give you an overview of the mission. But before that, let's check on the basics. Don't forget that this is the European front line. Mistakes are not permitted. First, check your compass. Your objectives are indicated on it. Let's make a test. I will give you an objective. Oh god, I forgot how bad voice acting was in this. Let's make a test. I will give you an objective. Right, your compass is working. Okay. What sucks, right, you have to use the uh, mill mouse button in order you to zoom in. Know that on I don't the understand it, but there's no, no way else. to switch it that I know of. Neither nurse nor doctor. Once injured, you'll have to wait till the end of your mission is completed. So take care of your armor and repair it as often as possible. Better be paying for that okay. shit. I damage your armor a little. Go to the station behind me to repair it. Yeah, now I gotta spend 169 bucks in order to repair that shit. Fucker. Everything seems to be okay. One thing that I do not like about this game is that this guy breathes like he's like a chronic smoker. But there's nothing you can really do about it. Yes, sir. No, I don't want to bother saving that. Get a move on. I guess I do gotta save it. Yes, sir. You can only save like at certain stations. Basically, it acts like a checkpoint, and you have to actually have to pay for it. In order to get money in this game, you just kill people. Um, headshots and multi kills give you a lot more uh, cash than just standard body shots. Okay, Nolan. Everything has been 
You'll see that as soon as they start shooting others. You can hire one or two mercenaries for your missions. Take care of them. Don't forget that you can give them some. Oh, the armor armor is like extremely shiny in this game too. I think our scout is dead. Find him. Find his body. Get the documents and take him to General Dodson in the West Camp. Ah, one last thing. You will face your first champion today. If you want to win the bet, be watchful and clever. You'll only have one minute to win, and believe me, that's short. Go, Nolan, and don't disappoint us. I will try my best. I feel like I should be talking with a fake accent, too. Nolan! Surgeon! Follow me! I'll grant you northern access. Let's go! No more delay! <laughs> oh god, all this speech just makes me laugh. Boom. Maybe he should have delayed a little bit. One thing you do want to do in this game too is uh, conserve your ammo. You cannot pick up your enemy's weapons in this. So, conserve everything. Which is why I like the sniper rifle in later missions. These guys are holding shields. You can actually shoot their uh, legs and knock them down. And this is another one of those games where uh, if you reload, you lose whatever ammo is in the clip. So you don't want to reload when you have a full clip. And the game does like to tell you every time you get a headshot. It's like, no kidding. But it is still another game I do like, so. Which is probably obvious since I'm playing it and kind of enjoying it. There's actually certain terminals that you can go to to. The same ones that replace your armor will also uh, replenish your health. Or, sorry. Your ammo, so. I'm gonna kill you. Your uh, cohorts do get extremely annoying. I will admit that. So, I mean, if it wasn't for the engineers being so damn useful, I definitely would not bring any of them. And yes, this is the same kind of weapon they get in uh, Iron Storm. Same kind of assault rifle. Which is kind of cool. It's a shame that, like, even online, this game really wasn't that popular. You had, like, a very small amount of people that were playing it. Which is really a shame. Because I really enjoyed it. But each of these weapons, after certain uh, missions, do get upgrades. Like this will get a really shitty grenade launcher. Um, the commando rifle, the one that I told you never use because it sucks ass. It'll get like a flashbang kind of shot. The minigun will actually get like a coolant. It's actually pretty cool. The other cool thing is that you actually see where every, the state everybody's armor is. So, like, if you see somebody has a helmet on and it's not really damaged or anything, but they have no body armor, shoot their bodies. You know, especially for running out of ammo. Movement of the game feels kind of floaty, but you do get used to it. Coast doesn't look that damn clear to me. Fuck, just hit me. Warning, snipers. Switch to Warning, snipers. Yeah, I'm guessing sniping with a pistol probably isn't the smartest idea, but oh well. As this guy just kind of stands there. Get out of here! Don't stay 
Oops. Oops. Like, what did he... Oh, okay. I'm like, where the fuck did he come from? There's nobody in... Like, there's a dead end. But, nope. We're good. Oh, maybe help some armor. Um, when you get damaged, you actually... If I remember correctly, you do get your health back during checkpoints. But for the most part, you cannot replenish your health. Oh, wow. Um, so if your armor's gone, any damage that you take to that body part will do damage to your health. Right, soldier. Get to the other camp, pronto. You should be there already. Watch out, they're hiding! It's very rare that you ever find yourself running out of ammo. Unless you're like trigger happy and an awful shot. Coast is clear. But you don't want to really push your luck too much either. So. Direction the main base. Direction the main base. What? I kind of want to tell these guys, hey guys, uh, you don't have to speak English just for my sake. I promise. Nolan, you have the documents? Good. Well, what the fuck happened to his eyes? You are WRF? Be blessed. The base is invaded from all sides. Help us to push them back on this side. If you don't decide to save at the save points, um, it does save at the checkpoints after loading. So, you have that. If you are stingy on your, uh, Saving. Of course, uh, saving does get more expensive as you go on in the game. Yes, uh, object kills are definitely the best way to get cash. Um, headshots are probably second. Ooh, that hurt. You can turn off the damn voice, like the breathing voice. <gasps> As you can probably see by my health meter, fire damage will burn you, regardless whether you have ammo or not. Same with acid. Actually, no. Acid, I think, just takes it off your armor. It's been a while since I played this, so I may misquote things. And you guys will cl uh, gladly keep announcing that they have to reload. Oh. This is the first bet on soldier match that you get access to. You can draw if you don't win. It's not exactly the best of you know, earn any kind of money. Most of these areas do have five, four, three, two, one. Why does I feel so floaty? Beginning. Oh, it might be that magnetic grenade he's using. Can't see the fucker. <laughs> so obviously, the quicker the quicker you actually kill those bastards, the more money you get. I'm probably gonna be spending all my winnings there. Good chunk of them. I'm not gonna worry about the grenades. Really, the only time I ever use grenades are during BOS matches.
Man, there's no point in saving either. This is the last part of the stage. You have to somehow get through this entire massive area. The hell how what? At least you do get a map in this game, so it's not hard to see where you have to go. These guys are so threatening. You're gonna die. on the trigger. Oh. Now, if you do run out of ammo, you do have this, it's called a rotoblade. Obviously, that's not really what you want. Man, that didn't kill him. Oh shit. My armor's up. Like, shot. Holy crap. That's not good. That's something I have ammo. Ghost is clear. Is there a repair? Oh, okay, there's a repair area over there. See the little R on the top left there in the map? That's the repair center. I love that noise. That's your I'm out of ammo noise. Definitely tells you. Thing is, this pistol does have some balls to it, which is why I like it. Since the level's almost over, I'm not going to go completely nuts and replace all my cash, or replace all my cash. Ah, damn. Okay, that's not so bad. Um. I'm yeah, making some profit. That's good, though. Money's good. If I remember correctly, that is stage one. Hello, soldier. You got a document for me? Okay, very good. Well done. Go and take a rest. We'll take over now. And that's mission one.
I didn't know why these men had attacked us. They killed my wife. But the more I got close to BOS, the more I began to suspect that maybe they were after me. Maybe my, maybe my past was catching up with me. What, what was my life like before? There were three guys when my wife was shot. The two Borienka brothers and another man. He was the one who pulled the trigger. They said his name was Balding. Balding. The name didn't mean anything to me, but I had to find these men and make them talk. I made it to League Two. Local newspapers were already talking about me. The first missions, one match. the BOS, all that had seemed pretty easy to me. I was almost feeling I was almost feeling more at ease in 12 kilos of armor than in my own clothes. Sometimes the exhilaration of the fights made me forget my thirst for revenge. Revenge. I, I was getting I was getting closer to my target. If I could challenge the leader of League Two, I was going to be able to face one of the Borienka brothers. I would try to make the bastard talk. I had to know why they did that to us. All right, so let's see. What do I want to pick next? We have, oh, Big Boy, which is the one uh, that I delete all those files for. And we also have Cargo Bay, which I think I usually do that afterward because that was actually a little more difficult. Yeah, let's let's do the way I always do it. We'll start with Big Boy. Come on, Big Boy. One thing about this. So let's see. So now we have four guys that we have to choose from. Basically, each. Uh, group. You have to choose one. Obviously, this guy, you have to choose him. He's basically like the boss of the area. Um, so, what do we want? Hans, Destruction Harry, or Wolfgang? I, I'm not even going to pretend that I know how to pronounce that. Um, I, I don't like fighting guys with the hallucinogen stuff. But, he does pay the best. So, we're going to try him. We're going to see what happens. Z is somewhat simple, if I remember right. Lucky Caesar. The acid bolts suck, too, because that's just going to chew right through your armor. Yeah, screw it. We're going to go with those guys. We're going to go a little gutsy. Still can only use the Canadian. Oh, no, I definitely don't want to unequip that, otherwise your ass going to be destroyed. All right, cool. Ah, dude. I still don't think that has the snap, the the scope on it though. So we're gonna use a the assault rifle again. Again, I'm not gonna bother with the, these grenades; they're just a waste of time. Actually, I lie. I'm gonna equip fire grenades. I have the money. I may as well use it now. Still can't use the war shotgun. Um. Do I want to bring the machine gun? We're going with the rocket launcher. It's expensive as shit. Nice thing is it does tell you how much the magazine price is too down here. Um, you know, what? I'm thinking I'm going to choose the rock, the, the rocket launcher. Of course, this time you actually have an engineer with you at all times. Obviously, the second guy is going to be a little bit better. But you, him you actually have to pay for, so I'm not going to bother. But the nice thing about uh, engineers is that you can actually use them to repair your armor, so that way you don't have to pay anything to replace it. And this mission, if he dies, the mission's over. Now, 
Now, I don't know if this actually takes place in the same universe as Iron Storm, but it definitely could with the whole um, using water for economy and stuff like that. Nice work. Oh, I got it. Yeah, sweet. So yeah, F1 and F2 tell you guys to uh, follow you or not, whereas uh, F3 and F4 tell you your second engineer or your third engineer, or first or second engineer to actually uh, replace your armor, or repair it I should say. But they're going to keep bitching at you if you move, which you will learn because I will rely on these engineers a lot to save money, and there's no reason not to. That's great. Oh, hello. This one was be nice to have a sniper rifle. But it does the job anyway, so. Come on, Ewan. Get out of my way. Oh, that could be bad. Obviously, I'm going to use that a little sparingly. Oh, shit. You idiot, get away from there, you fucktard! Idiots. Yeah, I'm just going to stand next to a barrel that's on fire. Portal. It's not a door. It's not a gate. It's a portal. Yes, I'm gonna be making fun of the game like constantly, but I still enjoy it. So, if you can't tell, I do enjoy it. Otherwise, I might or might not be playing it. Okay, let's face it. I'd be playing it anyway. They actually have to reload their uh, guns too, which is pretty cool. Sorry, my back. I just <laughs> I had to stop to itch my back. Scratch my back, I guess. Itch my back. Apparently, I speak English just as well as these guys I'm playing against. There's no reason to repair your armor with using cash. There really isn't. You should call me a bastard. Ow. So I'm getting like, let's say, 40 bucks per uh, regular body shot. I'm saying if you get a headshot, just. Oh, that's only 50, so. Eh, I guess it adds up, so I can't really complain too much. I can't get through. Oh, okay. I think the first BOS guy is right over here. Yes, sir. I can't find you. What do you mean you can't find me? I'm right fucking in front okay, of you. I'll hmm? repair it. Don't move about so much. I'm repairing your armor. Okay, repair. Oh yeah, I forgot. He says repair it.
Stewart, or our unbeatable challenger, the dice is cast. Feels so un no un going back now. unbeatable. Why is it only in League Two and not one? Huh? Like my little grenade. Attention, BOS in ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. The fight is beginning. Piece of cake. Hmm, maybe this rocket launch is more useful than I thought it used to be. They just never really used it, too. Okay. Where the hell is it? Oh. A professional piece of wood. I'm gonna open this door. Come on. You are covered. I'm following you. Nice green texture there. Oh yeah, just go in front of my gun, you dipshit. The AI in this game isn't always the best, especially for your friendly teammates. Now, I have played the game with uh, Shield 2. I didn't really care for it. But it's pretty cool how the animations, like the reload animations, actually change when you're using a, a shield. The shotguns in this game kind of feel underpowered, other than the, the war shotgun. And you'll see that one when I unlock it, because that thing is awesome. Do I need ammo soon? Okay, Nolan, stop moving about. I know it okay, kind of sucks to have to keep there. pausing to get my uh, armor repaired, but you really have to. I'm going to switch the, my pistol in a second here. Sold around here soon. Come on. I actually look kind of cool. Down here. Yep. Sweet, okay. Sweet 
ammo. Buy all, buy all ammos. It's done. I think it's going here because there's not a champion over here, if I remember correctly. Say that I kind of got used to the whole middle mouse button as my zoom in. It still feels kind of weird, but what are we gonna do? You won't heal me, douche. Oh, okay, now you go. Clean the stage. I'm not making this up, folks. You see it just as well as I do. Oh yeah, if your guy uh, kills people for you, you do get a small portion of cash, but not nearly as much. I can't get through. What is it? Top floor. Some stairs is kind of weird for me to stand up. Okay, I'll repair it. Stay on. As you can tell, my money uh, reserves okay, are going up, which is nice. Let's check this out. I'm coming. I literally just kind of floated down those stairs. See, like in the first stage it was four hundred dollars, now it's seven hundred. But better safe than sorry. I usually I don't have to save a lot, especially in the earlier stages, but later stages, yeah, I save all the time. Especially when they start putting in like mechs and stuff that you have to blow up. Like that. 
Uh-oh. You can't control for it. What the? I made some money there. Now in this case, I can be over. Oh cool, I can. Usually there's also a power pack on the back of this thing that you can destroy. Um If you can destroy the power pack, it blows it up much quicker. Oops. Plus, you get a lot more cash out. Five hundred dollars more, so. I can hear planes coming. They're gonna nuke us. They're not nuke us. I'm almost on the verge of killing this thing. Of course, I don't get the money for that. Now I'm gonna have to pay for all those rockets I used. Some bitch. Okay, it's done. I think the EXO is destroyed. It's done. Wait, how the hell did he call for air support anyway? I didn't hear anything. Did he just press a button or something? I love it because, like, even though there's a little bit of an empty space there, you still can't fire. It's like the hitbox is massive on this mix. So that thing's gonna blow up in any second now. Nice work. We're not. Oh, there it goes. station right over here. Seriously? Nice work. Not to be here. I don't know why the R's aren't really showing up here. I think they should. I think I only killed one champion this round yet. Hey, you. Yes. One thing I made notice, this isn't exactly like a fast paced shooter, it's more of like a standstill aim to pick your shots. So it's much slower than, say, Ironstorm was. I 
But to me, it's not too big of a deal. It's still a fun game. I can still run around the cutscene. Woo! Usually when you get a cutscene in the middle of a level, it's because of a champion. Who will be the star of the day? Nolan Dainworth? Or our best challenger? The dice is cast. There is no going back now. Some people believe in miracles. Miracles. Attention, BOS in ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. The fight is beginning. A winning wow, that was. I might have to carry this rocket launch with me more often. Damn. Down this way. I just have to laugh though, because you figure you have these BOS matches in the middle of a freaking battleground, and then all these other soldiers just kind of sit there and wait for you to finish. Oh, son of a bitch. I wonder if my recording key is... Oh, that's not cool. Oh, son of a bitch. Apparently, uh, my recording key is also my quick load key. So we're going to switch that over. Ah, if I would have knew that. So rather than making you guys wait for all... For me to get to all that again because I'm gonna have to do all this shit again. Um, I'm gonna stop this video, I'm gonna go through all this shit, which I guess it's not really too bad because I'm not too far out, and uh -oh. then at least now I know not to fire all those rockets at the thing. Um, and then I will resume the video once I get to the part that I was. So, see you in a bit. All right, let's try this again. Sorry about that, might really manage to you because you know. We didn't really have to wait, so. I can't find you. Okay, it's done. Took me a couple extra seconds to blow up the champion, but oh well. Oh, I remember this area. As I mentioned, you kind of have to pick and choose your battles because obviously you don't want to use up all your ammo on like one body part. Especially if it's heavily armored. Trying to sneak up behind me. Okay, I'll repair it. No, stop moving about. There you are, as good as so Obviously, it's best to take down the guys with the shields when they're reloading, because then they move the shield out of the way. Oh my god, shut the hell up. Nolan, stop moving about. Come on. I'm getting repaired. 
repair station. Right over and beyond. Yeah, it's my mall. Get some nice money there. Those hit sensors start turning red, that's when you need to start worrying, because that's when you know you're bleeding. Welcome to this is number three or four. Who will be the star of the day? Nolan Dainworth? Or our best challenger? The dice is cast. There is no going back now. You want to go home? This is serious stuff. You still want to fight? Attention, BOS in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. The fight is beginning. Fucking hallucinogen grenades. <laughs> Fuck is he? There we go. Oh, he messed me up a little bit there. I'm stopping. There's another door. I'll do it. I'm gonna open this door. Cover me. I'm following you. Because my armor's practically in tatters. Your armor's in lousy Yeah, Get down, say. Place my rocket launcher ammo. Because there's only one champion left, and I think 15 rockets will be enough to do it. And he's in this room here, so. Oh, this is where I wish I had a sniper rifle. That's what he's doing. It's alright, I can help him decide. Stand on your head. There you are, as good as new. So, station right here. Yeah. 
I have plenty of ammo yet, but you can never be too cautious. I had to go there. This German big boy. I probably shouldn't go nuts on ammo, but I'm going to just in case. God, is he? Oh, dear God. Oh, come on. Or something. Get your ass down here. You can do it. You, you can. There you go. Come on, come on, come on over here. Come on. I'll give you a Scooby snack. Come on. All's fair in love and war, but Ben Soldier, there are rules, damn it. You will not shoot the guy as he's parachuting in. Welcome to BOS! <laughs> Who will be the star of the day? Nolan Dainworth? Or our best challenger? Dice is so that's three there best no challengers in the now. same map. You want to go home? This is serious stuff. You still want to fight? Attention, BOS in ten seconds. Five, yeah, let's just get four, yeah, come three, on, two, one. The fight is beginning. There we go. Okay. It's done. There we go. Now we okay. In the words of from the dude, uh, from scary movie, run, bitch, run. Oh, that was that was not a good shot. Apparently, near was that one either.
this bastard just keep whining. Stop moving around. What, you want to live or not? Yes, oh. sir. And that's up to Nolan Daneworth is still alive. Didn't you kill him in Cuba three years ago? He survived somehow, sir. He's back on duty. He's in League Two. And it appears that some men tried to kill him six months ago. Why the hell would the Syndicate want Nolan dead? All right, we have to stop Nolan before he finds us. Hurry up and don't fail this time. 